Bingo! Hey there guys, Luigi Vance here, welcome back to an episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. Last time! Ha <laughs> ha 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 Um... I had an unexpected encounter with a certain legendary bird Pokemon that's like, you know, made of ice or whatever, or can command ice or whatever. Um <laughs> And on this episode, we're just gonna we're just gonna explore even more of uh the other side of um the other side of Seafoam Island, Route 20 or whatever. Leading up to like 22 or whatever. Anyways, that's that's all we're doing. So this is gonna be more battles and more me raising my Pokemon. Which, to be fair, I kind listen. We're at a point, right? I have seven Kanto badges. I eventually I have to go back to Blue and tell him like, hey, I got all these badges. You fight me, and like that's what he's gonna do. Um. I mean, the obvious is it's so fair. I don't know why I was thinking so hard. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, yeah, but uh, you know, Blue Blue wants a challenge, and I, I want to give him that challenge, but at the same time, I also don't want to be destroyed, so like, yeah, that that's what we're doing. We're just, we're just showing off it. Well, it's like, also, like, also, <laughs> that brain's moving 2,000 miles per hour, I swear. Um, there are still, like, th some areas of Kanto we haven't fully explored, and that's this area of Kanto, and I think that's all of Kanto we can fully explore. So, like, yeah, we're it, it was near we're nearing the end of the post-game, so sadly enough. I used to be a fisherman a while back, but I've grown to love swimming so much, I am always in my swim trunks, and that is how I became a swimmer. Look at my trunks! Oh no, your name is Elmo. <laughs> oh, so Elmo, I guess, so here, here's the lore, right? Elmo used to be a fisherman, and then he loves wearing swim trunks that, like, he, he like, became a swimmer. And now Elmo sent out Poliwhirl just so Poliwhirl can drown. <laughs> There was- I was going somewhere with this, but then I lost my joke along the way, so, like, I don't apologize, but... That's par for the course. Hey, look! Thunder hit! Wow! Kind of amazing! So wow. Alright, you go. You did good. <laughs> Elmo drown! <laughs> and maybe we should go back to fishing. Just, just maybe, Elmo. Oh. I thought you were going to go up, not down. What an impressive collection of gym badges. We should battle. How do you know how many badges do I have? It's not like I'm displaying all 15 badges on my vest or something. So how like how how do you know how many badges do I have? How does anyone know how many badges you have? Again, you're not showing them off. You have a case for them probably. Oh no, Ice Beam. I, I should be afraid. I should be scared, but I ain't. Alright, who are you sending out now? Another Starmie? Do you just have like a team of Starmies? You probably do. Oh wow, water pulse. This is so scared, like someone's trying to confuse me or something. Oh my god, you do have a team full of Starmies. <laughs> oh, why am I not surprised? Um, sure, we'll just keep using Signal Beam until something happens. Hey, confusion! It worked! Punch yourself, do it, you won't. Hell yeah! <laughs> Easy victory, let's go! <laughs> oh no! I lost! Surf is no longer the only HM move you use in the water. 
True, true. Did you also know that Surf is no longer an HM move? It's now just a TM. Or TR, depending on if you're in Galar. But it's a TM in Sinnoh. And I still question. Oh, God. No, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. We are not. We are not going to talk about Brilliant Diamond. <laughs> That's a little, a little far the confusion. Are you okay, buddy? I think you're drowning. A level 40 shelter. Man, could have been better. Could be better. You could have had it at level 69. Haha, <laughs> nice. I don't know where I was going with this. <laughs> I'm I'm out of stuff to talk about. The whole Articuno fiasco which just kind of like threw me off so hard. I was like, wait, legendary Pokemon? I wasn't planning this. Uh, don't you love it when the lot spike doesn't go when you plan it, <laughs> the way you planned it? Oh, I love it. I'm drowning. Didn't use your Gloister to get back on the land. I asked my girlfriend to swim to Fuchsia. <gasps> I'm disgusted by wimpy people. <laughs> Ouch, sick burn, dude. <laughs> Your girlfriend called you wimpy. Uh, she swam all the way out here from Fuchsia City. Meanwhile, you're like, I'm drowning. Help me. Don't just sit there on your Pokemon. I'm drowning. Again, buddy, you have a Gloister and a Shelter. Have to shelter just carry you, you can just pretend to swim. I'm pretty sure there are people out there who do that. I could beat you at swimming. And you know what? You're right. Not saying I'm not a strong swimmer, but like it's a quick swim between Fuchsia City and Seafoam Islands. Sheesh, some big man my boyfriend is. What a wimp. Again, ow, sick burn. Anyways, here's the TM for Brine. What's Brine? Don't worry about it, because I'm not going to use it. It's a move that does more damage the lower your HP is, or is it that does more damage depending on, like, the amount of HP you t you've lost? Okay, yeah, no. No, it, it, it's, it's if it's below half of your HP, then it does double damage. Yeah, that that that's that's what it is. Oh, hello! Oh, the road work is finally finished. Now I can go fishing again. Oh, apparently this was blocked off. I'm all sweaty. Time for a swim. Oh, I guess, I guess this was blocked off, and I wasn't aware of it. What's this notice? Please be careful if you're swimming to Skifo Island. Fuchsia Police. Well, that guy is definitely dead. Uh, so yeah, I guess I kind of forgot about this. If you try to come down here earlier, I get, I guess before heading towards Palatown, right? Then, uh, you know, they'll be like, oh, there's construction, landslide happened. Oops. Alright, well, that's it, that's, that's Route 19 and 20. I thought 19 was longer. It's fine. Alright, so let's head back to, uh, to, uh, Cinnabar Island. And talk to Blue, because we beat Blaine, we have all bat all the Kanto badges. If you want to battle me for real, come to the Viridian Gym. I'll be waiting for you. Alright, cool, bye! I guess that's what we're doing today. This, this actually might be a little of a long episode, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe, considering looking at the time right now, yeah, it might be a little long. It's fine though. It's fine. I don't plan things out, so like th this this is this is this is on brand for me. Uh I should probably heal up my Pokemon. Hold on, let me go heal up my Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, this time I'm back for real. How was it? Were you able to battle later? I haven't gone into it yet. <laughs> I literally just got here. Oh, I think I like this. Yo, legend in the making! The floor here is unstable, so you should put away your Pokemon. Now. The gym leader is the guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything you got. 
Oh, that's super cool and interesting. So I hope you like sliding tile puzzles because this gym is full of them. All right. Uh, I do low-key kind of want to fight the trainers, but like, again, in, in, in <laughs> because of time, we're going to blaze through this probably. And I'm going to get this in one go watch. Uh, actually, no. <laughs> I done goofed. Wait. Wait. Yo, let's go. One tr- Oh, I do have to fight a trainer. <laughs> I'm I I'm Ida. Next to me is Elaine. Together, we're a double team. All right, let's get this fight started. Come on. Hold on, what did I just name this dude? Ida, okay. <laughs> Ellen? Elon. Elon. Whatever. Names are stupid, alright? True story. I don't like how you have a Porygon 2 that has download, though. Alright. Well, since I'm in this precarious situation where I have to, like, you know, battle people and, and junk. Um, fun facts about this gym! Hey! Who loves them? I know I do. So, fun facts! Um, this gym was actually much simpler back then. Like, it, you just literally walk in, go up to Blue. Blue's like, yo, what's up? I'm Blue. I'm here to beat your ass. And then, like, you beat his ass, and then that's it. His gym was also surrounded by Legos for some reason. Don't ask me why that's his gym. He, he, he made it. Shoot. Um, so yeah. So when the remake happened, well, I guess he turned into a real gym with... You know, keeping keeping the same I idea that, you know, the, the previous gym leader had. You, you know, the sliding tile puzzle in a gym full of cool trainers because, you know... Oh, I'm sorry, Ace Trainers. I forgot what generation I'm in. Ace Trainers. Remember that, it's Ace Trainers. Yes. Yes. That. Just a room full of them and be all like, hey, what's up? We're here to kick your butt. That's it. The end. <laughs> All right, that's all the fun facts. Can I, can I, can I please just make a move? It's like between Viridian being confused and Porygon 2 being all Porygon 2 and all like, I'm gonna use Protect. It's kind of annoying. I could have just swap out. I could have, I should have done that. It's much more simpler than what I'm trying to do with like, you know, trying to do an attack and, and junk. Especially since, you know, Porygon 2's special attack is now up, so yay. And this guy really loves using Protect, oh, let me tell you. Okay, how about we try this one more time? Alright, cool, you're using Tri-Attack. Also, Trick Room is like... It's very annoying. Because that means Porygon 2 will always go first. Always. Oh, come on! There's no way Porygon 2 has- Oh, right, I forgot. Silver has to hustle. Oh, good! I'm fast again! Yay! Except this guy wants to keep using Protect. I don't understand why this guy wants to keep using Protect. What's the point of using Protect? You're gonna die next time. You're just delaying the inevitable. Ah, I hate it so much. Thank you! Was that difficult? Oh, hey, Selfair gained a level. How nice. Alright, we beat him. Yeah, this is surprising. Let me out of here. Alright, I done goof, so I gotta redo the puzzle. Hold on. Where does this put me? In front of another trainer. Oh, looking around the room like that, doesn't it make you a little dizzy? It, surprisingly, yes. Alright, Bonita. That is a name. That is a name that I never thought I'd see on a guy. Alright, you have a Spinda. Cool. That nose fake out. Cool. Oh yeah, in case you haven't noticed, this gym doesn't actually have a pipe. Everyone's free to do whatever. It's just everyone just uses very, very 
very battle tactic heavy Pokemon that loves to use Trick Room. Can you tell what the TM for this gym is gonna be? Yes, it's Teeter Dance. We're all gonna get confused every five minutes. Thank you, Viridian. It's like you're already confused. What's what's the worst you can do? Jeez, man. All right, I should probably swap Pokemon. Pseudo Wudo. Well, what could Pseudo Wudo do that a Pseudo Wudo cannot? Oh, where are you? Stone Edge. All oh, right, I'm out of confusion. Hey, that's super convenient. Cool, I did it. Yay me. Oh, my Pokemon, all dizzying and fainting. Yeah, it, it sucks, doesn't it? All right, so please don't, don't tell me I have to find more trainers. Please tell me we're done. T tell me this is the beginning. All right, cool. Time to solve this puzzle again. And this time, not screw up. Um, um. How did I... How did I get lucky the first time? I don't know. It's a mystery. And then... Okay, and what path did I take? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Is it the furthest? It's the furthest. All right, cool. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't screw up again. All right, cool. Um, you know what? Let's start off with Silphair and let me heal up Yango and crew. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in mood in Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? <laughs> Johto's gyms are that pathetic? Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you're good or not by battling you right now. Uh, as arrogant as ever, I see. So say hello to Blue. Some people call him green. He starts off with an executor! Oh, great! Yango's not out in front! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's, it's, I got a counter, it's called Fly. So in case you haven't noticed, like I said, there's no particular type Blue uses. He was the rival character, so of course his Pokémon will be diverse as heck. So, I bet you're asking, so what, what does he have a starter? No. TLDR, his Pokemon team, I believe, are based off of uh, the team in Gold and Snug. I would say Fire and Leaf Green, but like they're basically the Pokemon that like you know counters Red in in the original games. Take that as you will. But you know, with the addition of Trick Room and, and stuff. All right, so who you're sending out now? Ride on. Yeah, I think I'll swap. We'll swap to Google. Although, mm, how fast is this ride on gonna be? Cause like you know, Trick Room is in effect, so slower Pokemon goes first. Ride on is not not notoriously slow, but he's known to be slow. Oh, thank God you decided to miss with Mega Horn. How is that my Pokemon are faster though? I know one of them has to be slow. One of them has to be. Anyways, right on dead. Thank God you're not a Rhyperior. Fighting a Rhyperior will be stupid. All right, who's your next Pokemon? Machamp. All right, Machamp is definitely not a Pokemon from the original team. I think they just added that in there. It was like, hey, we need a, we need a, 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 a we need a third Pokemon. And they're like, oh, why don't I add Machamp? All right, Stone Edge. Ah, damn it. I walked into that. I'm sorry, Yango. <laughs> Yango, I'm sorry. I walked into that like an idiot. 
Yo, the good news is I'm fast again, so still fair. Take out this Machamp, I guess. You know, I just realized I forgot to reteach, uh, <laughs> Pito's, uh, return. It's fine. By the next episode, he'll be back to his normal self. Oh, Machamp is bulkier than I thought. Oh, right, because Silphair has bad special attack. Right, and Hustle. Ha ha. Uh. Do you have no guard? I think you have no guard. That's probably why Stone Edge is like hitting more often than it should. Alright, um, Viridian. I know he's gonna, like, I know he's gonna try to heal up Machamp, so, like, we're just gonna do some things. We're gonna try to poison it, and we're gonna try to lower it, and I guess we'll bring back Silphair, because I'm a dummy. Or I could keep Viridian out. That also could work. But we, ha we will have to see. Because his special defense is down, so Pedal Dance should do a lot more damage. Okay, it's not a lot. Damn it, you have Dynamic Punch. Yeah, you definitely have no guard. There's no way you can just use Dynamic Punch and it instantly hits. No. There's no way. That's impossible. It's a 50-50 shot. Just like how this is a 50-50 shot. Damn it. <laughs> hey, I can use Dynamic Punch. Want to see me do it again? Alright, Pepito, guess what? You're gonna be a sacrifice. Sorry, bud. That's all That's all you are nowadays. Uh, oh, I do have a max revive. Screw it. Let's use it. I would be surprised if Pepito somehow manages to survive a dynamic punch, but I doubt it. Is that enough? No, but doesn't matter next turn. Unless, you know, Blue decides to use Fly again. Not Fly, um, Force. Sorry, I was like thinking of using Fly. That's why I said Fly. Don't mind me, I'm just being stupid. Um. Alright, that should be a lot of experience. Alright, you're sending out Gyarados! Fun! Oh no, my attack! My bread and butter! Quick, I must put you to sleep! Oh god, I need to get rid of Gyarados like now. I need to get rid of him like now. How about if we fly up? How about... no. Oh, great. I should have just swapped. I should have just swapped it Google and just called it there. Because now I'm wasting precious time with sleep. I don't. Don't. Okay, good. Good. Don't wake up. Good. 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 Now we should KO it, no problem. Alright. That was uh that was a little problematic. It's fine though, it's fine though. It's fine. It's just a Gyarados. It's quad weak to electricity. It's not it's not a big of a deal. Hey Google gained the level. How nice. Alright, and your next Pokemon's Arcanine. Oh, we're not done yet. All right, so let's use a max potion. I'm trying to remember who his last Pokemon is. I'm trying to, but I just can't think of off the top of my head. Yeah, I knew you were gonna use extreme speed. I also don't remember who is his ace Pokemon, because I think all of his Pokemon like are roughly the same level. I say that, but like I could be wrong. Oh yeah, Flare Blitz is definitely dangerous. 
Google, do me a solid. At least survive this. All right. We're getting somewhere. The recoil. The burn is not ideal. I hope you will survive the burn. Otherwise, this is gonna suck. Hopefully, Surf takes it. No. Poor song. Wishful thinking, but that's not it. All right, uh, I guess we'll send out Silphair. And I know Arcanine's sick. It's gonna try to do extreme speed. I was like, you know, it, it, it's powerful quick attack. That's all it is. It's just powerful quick attack that has the highest priority in the entire game. I think it's the highest, I don't remember. Oh, you, how many full resource do you have? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Well, I'll just take advantage of this and bring back Google. Easy. Just, uh, just don't do a, a ton of damage, please. You did a ton of damage. And the burn. Okay. So, I'm in an ideal range of getting extreme speed. So, we're gonna see if Cert Mine can handle this. The, I'm placing high doubt against it because, you know, fire type weak, but it's a physical fire type. So, like, hopefully the defense will work. Hopefully. Ironically, Trick Room would be so great to have on the field right now. Okay, thank you, defense. Now let's see how much Earthquake will do. Alright, it's enough. It's enough. I was kind of a little worried. Arcanine is actually kind of a tough Pokemon to fight against. Silphair gained a level. And everyone else has gained levels. Alright, and your final Oh yeah, it's Pidgeot. How could I forget that his best Pokemon is Pidgeot? How? How could I have forgotten? I am a bad Pokemon trainer for not remembering that Pidgeot exists. Because I used one every time. Also, Pidgeot shouldn't be that much threatening because it has Air Slash. That's it. That's its bread and butter. Pidgeot doesn't have a lot of good moves in this generation. Or any generation for that matter. So, easy peasy, I win. Although, if you would freeze, that would be great. What I don't like is it's using Air Slash, which has a chance of me flinching. So that's not a good, but... It's fine, because I have two other Pokemon. Well, one other Pokemon that can dish out Electro-type moves. Ah, Citrus Berry. Cool, cool. Can you freeze? Can I get that 10% chance of freezing? No? Not gonna lie. Was not expecting Whirlwind. That is not Google. <laughs> that is so fair. Oh! Perhaps I'm the one who was unprepared. Uh, it's debatable, buddy. I think I think it's safe to say that both of us weren't prepared for this fight. Like, theoretically, you would have won if I hadn't used like two max revives. <laughs> oh, return! Ooh, did not expect that. Oh, oh, that's that's a disgusting amount of damage. But it's, it's over. I won. Yeesh! And that's blue! Huh, this is the real power of Jota, huh? No way! How the heck did I lose to you? Alright. Here, take this. It's the Earth Badge. Hooray! Got the Earth Badge. With this badge, you'll be able to use the HM move Rock Climb. Here, take this as well. Oh, TM92? Oh, hey, look, it's Trick Room. 
It contains Trick Room, and allows slower Pokemon to move before faster Pokemon for a while. It's a very tricky move, isn't it? <laughs> Hence the name. Alright, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You're a good trainer. But I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. I w I probably will. I'm not gonna lie. I probably will. Wow, I was right about this episode being long. <laughs> oh boy. There's a, a long episode. Oh. Oh. Man, you truly are, you are truly tough. That was such an inspirational battle brought tears to my eyes. All right. So we did it. Ah, Professor Oak's calling me. Hello, this is Professor Oak. Oh, you don't have to say anything. I know better than anyone else how hard you're working. I thought I should get you a present or something in appreciation. Well, I picked something up, but I completely forgot to give it to you. Ha ha ha. Oh, you don't have to wonder about it at all. I know it's something that will be very helpful for you, too. You should just come here and pick it up. I'll be waiting for you in my laboratory in Pallet Town. It's rock climb, isn't it? Want to be rock climb. Anyways, that's it for this episode. So if you like what you see here, just slap that like button. Really like what you see here, slap the subscribe button. And, uh, now that we got all eight badges of Kanto, what's next? Well, buddy, we just opened up a whole can of worms of things to do and things to do. We're going on a trip. That's all I gotta say. And no, I'm not saying that because I don't know what we're doing next episode. No, it's totally not because of that. No, no. Why would you think that? 